Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Amplified server and we are going to bounce <laughs> all the way up here. Check that out. How cool is that? We've got our own little bouncy castle inside of the base now. Awesome suggestion from you guys. Someone left a comment about this a long, long time ago. They said, Asuma, when you're done doing all of the floors, put some slime blocks at the bottom and you'll be able to bounce up and down from floor to floor. And I was like, yeah, that's actually a really, really good idea. Now, as you saw there, it kind of looks like we got about as high as the third floor, which is actually like a little bit disappointing. I think I got carried away with the idea in my mind and sort of pictured it like you would uh, bounce up really high and, you know, go to the level below you. But of course, we've got one more level to go here. <laughs> But of course, you don't bounce up that high, so I've sort of removed the um, fence post at either end on every single floor, as you can see there. And that means that we can jump down, hit this thing, and then bounce back up to... Oh wow, we can actually get to the third floor from there. That's really cool. Now I'm going to guess then from the second floor down, you could only get to like the second floor from the bottom. That's really confusing when I refer to that one as the first and sort of like also this one as first from bottom. I shouldn't do that. So this is actually the fourth floor down uh, that we jumped up to. And it's a little bit disappointing that it works like that. But you know, what? it's a fun and cool little feature. However, I have been thinking that when you're on these floors and you run like this, you sort of go straight forward and then you find yourself in this middle area. Maybe what I should do is actually remove the fence posts on these sides and then you sort of walk in, bounce off the middle and go across the other side. And if that's possible, over time, I'll probably learn, you know, which floor goes to which one. As we've seen, if we need to go from the top all the way to the third floor, no, fourth floor, because we're counting from top down, <laughs> that's going to get confusing, um, then we know that we can jump through the middle. And let's say we're on the second floor and we want to go down to the fifth floor, the one with the villagers, then we know we can make that jump. So, yeah, something along those lines. Although, by the sounds of it, it's only like there's a few jumps that would actually work. But I'll do some testing on that. Probably going to rearrange those fence posts like I described. But what we're going to be doing in this video is working on this floor right here. And I'm actually quite excited because I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen when we build this one. I've got a few like projects written down, things that I want to put on this floor. So we're going to sort of figure out a layout where each little project would go. I'm going to try and guess how much space they're going to need. And we're going to squeeze a whole bunch more stuff into our base on this floor. Now, if you've seen a lot of this base or you haven't, um, if you haven't, if you have seen a lot, you probably know, but if you haven't, there is just tons of stuff everywhere, squeezed in all over the place, and it's always a fun challenge. Uh, but the main thing that I'm looking forward to is the aesthetics. The only like material that's been determined so far on this floor is oak wood and jungle fences. And I don't know if we'll continue using those, but right now I'm going to go onto my creative server and mess around with some building blocks and see if we can come up with some sort of design aesthetic for this floor. So at some point I've got to go and change all of these fence posts, but what better time than now to give this a whirl. This one goes up to like, <gasps> yes, this floor right here, which is absolutely perfect because this is the one that we're building on. So I really wanted to work with white in this room. I was thinking, do you know what, I, I'm, I'm looking at all the different materials available in the game. We've done um, orange big time on that floor, we've done yellow with the sandstone, we've done the prismarine blocks and a lot of grey in that room. And down here we've gone with the clays. So what's left over is basically like white was one of the colours that really popped out. So quartz is obviously going to be um, an expensive material. And I started playing around with this and straight away you can see like the problem is it just looks a bit odd next to the wood here. And I was thinking the quartz is going to be very expensive. So we could also use durite mixed in and some white wool when there was I think one or two other textures like iron blocks and snow blocks we could mix in. Uh, but then I realised the floor down the bottom has birch and what's probably going to look better next to quartz out of all the woods than, than birch because it's partially white and you can kind of get away with it basically. So we're probably going to save that for the uh, bottom floor. So at least we know roughly what we're going to do on that one. What we'll do on this one though is this little pattern design that I've just come up with. I wish I'd have brought some more oak logs with me. But anyway, we're going to run some stairs around the outside going all the way around. And this is going to include lighting as well, by the way. Then we're going to slap down some spruce slabs around it like this. And this isn't going to be any bigger than one wide going the whole way around. So it's going to wrap around um, this middle bit. Now, I originally done that with dark oak and it looks surprisingly good next to that one. But I wanted to make the overall pattern just a little bit 
um, smaller. So I decided to swap these around and we've got dark oak here in the middle. Then we will have, that's actually in the wrong spot. We'll have spruce again and then dark oak again. So let's just at least build um, a little bit of this that works. There we go. And then on this side you would have the dark oak. Now I'd also then go and put some more of this over on this side. So what we'll probably have is a repeat of the jungle wood as well and then have the walls behind it and then whenever there's going to be a room for a little project there'll be an opening to walk through but when it comes to lighting what we're going to do is find the middle which is going to be this bit here and I'm going to remove that because we need to do it on all of the floors and we're simply going to go with redstone lamps so we will put let's see uh, that's the middle yep and that's the ceiling of the floor below very little room to work with here we're going to have a gap of four so one two three, four, and the next one goes here. And we place in that lamp. And we'll do that all the way around. And it won't line up perfectly. One, two, three, four. Um, but what it will do is line up very nearly. <laughs> so there'll be like a gap of three at the area around this corner here. So it'll be something like a lamp there and a lamp there. But either way, it's going to provide a lot of light I think to all of the blocks around it and then there'll be no mob spawns on this floor. Anyway, you can see like how the pattern's coming along here. So I'm going to build this entire thing, the entire floor, and then we're going to step back and take a look at it. So I've been chopping down trees, lots and lots of trees, and then I noticed, oh wait a minute, we've got the roof to do it as well. So I need some more logs and some more fences for this stuff up here. But the the ceiling is one of the next things we're going to be doing anyway, so, well actually it might not. I don't know what order I'm going to do things in. Also looks like we have a visitor over here looking at the villagers down below. Um, but this is the floor, and I've got to say, it feels a little bit smaller than I intended it to be now that I've got these fence posts around the outside, but once again it's going to serve the purpose, and I think that it looks alright, and depending on how we do the walls it could look even better, so that'll be um, the next thing to do. But I also need to figure out all of the projects that we're going to do on this floor. So I'm going to have a look over my notes, look over my list of all the things, figure out some rooms and we'll come up with a design for these walls. Okay, I've got something and it's the kind of build that I think is once again going to split opinions but I like it, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge and I figured out what exactly is going to go on this floor. We're going to have two passive farms, ones that run without us interacting, one on that side there one on that side over here, and then we're going to have four animal farms, one in each corner. Uh, but what we're going to do right now is sort of build the rest of the walls in this room that kind of isolate all of that. And this stuff is going to be expensive because I've picked out some blocks that require a lot of farming. Now, some of those are redstone lamps, which are actually quite easy because we've got the witch farm. Some of them are note blocks, which are very expensive. It's eight logs, or sorry, it's, it's two logs, but eight sets of planks and some redstone. So the redstone's taken care of. But we basically have to like farm eight times the amount of wood we normally would to build a wall with. And then Dark Prismarine, which probably means some trips over to XB's area. And I think since he's not been on the server so much lately, that means doing some AFKing over there. Um, so the idea is we're going to have an entrance right here in the middle that's going to be five wide. So this is going to be quite a big one. And then the ones on the corners are going to be diagonal. So we can try and like challenge myself to create some diagonal rooms, I thought. And some of the farms might be quite tricky to make on the diagonal but then again that can be another challenge you know make some new mob farms and make them diagonal so then we will have our wall coming over like this just wanted to put that there so you can see how far across it goes now this material is a little bit of a I don't know it's gonna be a love-hate where the, in the way that it mixes but I think that this dark green goes with wood colors pretty well and we could possibly just replace that with something else as it's kind of like an accent on the room. Uh, but then we're going to put in the note blocks and these are going to be the bulk of what you see. Um, and we're going to interchange it with some redstone lamps as well which will need to be powered later on. Um, so our walls are going to look like this and you'll see that they don't quite line up which means what we're actually going to do is just have the pattern continue across the diagonal that we have here. So it'll come all the way over to this wall and basically there is going to be lamps on the edge. So for this entrance there will be lamps on either side and I actually don't think that looks too bad at all. And already I'm thinking we are getting through these note blocks and we're only building like a, a quarter I guess. Actually yeah we're only building a quarter. Maybe this won't use as many as I originally thought it would. Because yeah a quarter I mean that's not the <laughs> smallest amounts is it? 
I get a good idea of what I need to do. Just basically farm three times the amount of wood that I've already done. Um, so that will come all the way over here. And then we'll place down all of the green on the top as well. Let's place some over on this side. And then over there. And bam, we've done it like in no time at all. Can we place it falling down? <laughs> I tried. I think I hit the note block. And that is going to be our wall. And then we're going to have more of these just up there. We actually knocked some of these out so we can do that. And I think then the ceiling will probably have like oak wood directly above those. But then we'll do something different. I think I placed that. Yes, I placed it up there. <laughs> That's not good. I'll have to go and get that back. Um, yeah, we'll do something different to the floor though. And I think we'll probably try and get away from the wood as well. Maybe do a roof with stone, cobblestone, something like that. Uh, but that's going to be the room. And is that actually a quarter? I mean, we've got to do that. No, it's not, because we've also got to do this little bit over here as well. And that used up, I think, just a stack in total. I don't remember swapping in some more note blocks. It's probably not going to be anywhere near as expensive as I thought it was. And it only used 16 redstone lamps as well. That's pretty cool. So I was thinking for the entrance, um, these green blocks could simply like wrap round into the corridor and we could just use the same materials to link it to that area. And also, this has already got note blocks in. I'd probably, I'd probably take the green and make this little area out of dark prismarine as each floor is sort of decorated to the theme. As you can see here, we've used regular prismarine. So getting caught up in all of that building, I forgot to show you that the entrance would go right here. I did actually start building here, and you can see it's not the prettiest, but I just like it because it's different and it's something that I haven't really seen before. And coming around to this side, you'll see that the floor, it kind of curves out over here, but where we have this sharp curve, it just turns into a big flat wall over here. And I was thinking that actually kind of looks a little bit uninteresting. And where we've got this sort of curve developing and then a diagonal, I think we should actually keep that. So what I think we'll do, and <laughs> of course I have to be out of note blocks right now, don't I? That's typical. Okay, so this edge block right here, which is that one, is going to be off by, no, it's going to be right there. So what we would do, and it looks like I've done this wrong, is have our note blocks go across in a diagonal and then all of this floor can be Prismarine, so we can't really visualize that without some more note blocks, so I'll probably go and craft a few more. Ah, the good old ender chest. Forget about that one every time. I had one in my inventory bin, doing my best to remember to do that all the time since I made that video, and this time I remembered. So it looks like we don't have enough dark prismarine to really see this, but as well as up there, I want that on the floor. Oh, we've already done the floor, yes. And I think that actually looks pretty good. So then we'd have some other sort of material going through here into the floor. We can bring the green across and round into this little bit as well. I think that's going to look really good actually. Just opens up the room a little bit more. And as I've been doing this, I've been thinking about lighting up the lamps. But do you know what? They kind of look all right as they are right now. And lighting them up may not be the way to go. So we may just leave them like that. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to finish building this room, or at least most of it. And we can we can check it out when it's finished. Got to say, XP's base, I, uh, I love this place, and I think I might have gone overboard here with the crafting. Yes, I've made that many stacks of Dark Prismarine. Of course we have the Ink Sack Farm, the Squid Fall with the Giant Squid in the Desert. That thing has so much ink, it's backed up, so I could take as much as I wanted, and yeah, we've made a ridiculous amount. I probably only needed a couple of stacks, but there you go, it's good to stock up, and XP has absolutely tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and more tons of this stuff stored up. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, now we really get a sense of what the room is going to be like because it's practically done. And it looks a little bit ugly where the doorways are at the moment, but of course you'll be able to sort of peer in and see what's going on in there. I'm just noticing like as I look around a couple of things that I've missed. So this over here needs a few blocks. And I started placing some more fence posts up the top there, and it felt kind of wrong to put them there, to be fair. The plan was to put some oak above them and then do something in between. But I think actually seeing the green at the top a little bit more exposed than it is at the bottom is a nice thing. So we want to keep that. And then with this roof, I'm thinking, do you know what? I was going to put some sort of stones or greys here. And that's kind of what we got already. And the grey in between everything else just doesn't look right. So we're going to need to find uh, another colour for that. And also, that doesn't quite look right either. I think what we should do here is move the dark prismarine up and just have it so that this is surrounded 
on all sides. Anyway, we're going to take a break from doing this now, just because I wanted to do something different. There is a job that kind of urgently needs doing at this point, so if we go up a couple of levels, and yes, every now and then that happens, which is unfortunate. I'm not sure why that happens, actually. I know if you use this thing too quickly as you go up floor by floor, you'll hit your head, uh, but sometimes that happens. Is this the right floor? No, it's not. It's the next one that I want to go to. So over here we have our wheat being automatically delivered. And you can see it comes with the occasional minecart. Oh, actually, I do know where that comes from. That was from the little tour that I did with Python. I uh, accidentally broke my little system down there. I don't know if uh, he was recording at the time that that happened, but basically I had sort of checked to see where the minecarts were and then broke one, and then I think one of the other minecart hoppers picked it up. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then let's go down below <laughs> and uh, I'll show you, I guess. That was almost perfect. I wanted to fall down onto this bit. So underneath here, there's loads of hoppers going backwards and uh, forwards. And, and yes, the minecart got picked up by one of those. So, um, as you saw in the chests, we have tons and tons of seeds. And that's what I need to do here. I need to build an item filter because we don't need those seeds. It's those two right there. <laughs> yeah, this is where my little entrance is, I guess. Um, so yeah, it should be relatively simple. I was wondering, will this thing ever get backed up? But actually, it will get backed up in a different location because it dispenses items into the water. So um, this will never get backed up. So I think the place to build an item filter would be the hopper right before it goes into this one. Then if it's fast enough to pull it out before it goes through, we shouldn't ever see seeds go into this bit. Um, yes, I'm hoping that will be the way that it works. I'm going to build this it's probably going to be a little bit tricky because there's all this other redstone like directly around it do you know what i should have started every transition this video with this because <laughs> it's so much fun and hold down forwards bam up we get that's awesome i love it and i think i said for the roof i wanted to avoid gray well, we're going to go with grey and a little bit of orange. And I would like this to have been one block higher. And do you know what? It almost could have been, but those sea lanterns would have got in the way. I actually thought it wasn't possible because I thought that there was gravel and stuff there. But actually, yeah, that's the layer. Oh, right. So if we remove that, then there'll be gravel and stuff above it. Yes, that would have been a massive pain to have done. So, nope, we couldn't have pushed this up by one block. And basically what we're doing is just alternating the texture in different ways. And I went with this one because it's grey and it's also sort of wooden as well. And then I figured that above every lamp we would have a uh, an orange bit facing downwards. And then we could decorate that with a few different things. Originally I was going to go for iron bars and I felt they just sort of looked a little bit out of place and didn't really fit in. And to be honest you just sort of look at them and it makes you think, oh... Iron bars. <laughs> you know what I mean? They don't even represent anything. So I don't think we'll go with that. I thought the orange, oh, that's a little bit bright and toxic for my liking. That again just seems to stick out like a sore farm. I've got a feeling actually um, that the white will do the same. And that's one of the things with the stained glass. Although the colours are really nice, they're also very luminous and bright. And wow, that pops out so much it's ridiculous. Okay, so we're not going to go with that. I'm not sure what I'm actually going to put there now. Maybe we will just leave it like that. A little something to break up the pattern, I guess. And I have chopped down a lot of trees. I'm hoping that I don't have to chop down anymore. We'll probably get away with it. I think I've used like a stack and a half so far. So yeah, I'm going to be busy. <laughs> busy for the next few minutes finishing this roof. So it's all in place. There's no going back now. And what did I say? We have to start off each transition with a little jump. Oh, we probably could have made it to that floor, actually. Let's grab some ender pearls. I love this little bouncy castle in the middle of the base now. Bam! Up we go. And, oh, a little bit glitchy. I think we'll throw another one to, to get out of this situation. Yeah, it looks alright. Probably not the best floor ever, but it's different. I feel like I've challenged myself and come up with something that's alright. I love the use of the note blocks. And I'm sure, as always, it will divide opinions. Anyway, um, we now got to mark out what each of these rooms are going to do. I'm not going to start any of these this episode, but I thought what I'd do is, you know, at least get uh, a plan in place for now. Also forgot to mention, did that with just 17 logs left over. That is really close, considering we had like six or more stacks. So I cut down the right amount of trees. And this next bit, I'm going to go around and tell you what each of the projects on this floor will be. And if you want to leave any comments or suggestions, ideas, anything at all, um, down below in the comment box, it will be appreciated as I'd like to gather tons and tons of ideas. 
and like come up with the best stuff. Anyway, we got a, a cow farm's gonna go over in this corner. No idea what I'm gonna do with that. I've done plenty of cow farms before. I think it's actually gonna be hard to think up some new ideas with that one, so any suggestions would be appreciated. Then over here we have the cactus farm. And I actually have this one, I think, pretty much sussed out what I'm going to do for it. We're going to use the usual way of farming cactuses, but with a, with a different collection method. At least that's my idea for that compared to what I've done in the past. Uh, over here we have sheep. I have this one entirely sussed out in my mind. Got something very cool to share with you. That's probably the next one that we're going to do, actually. And then over here we have a rabbit farm. Now, I can't remember if it was in 1.7 or 1.8 that it changed... Uh, but rabbits used to be pets at one point, which made them a little bit of a pain to work with. And then they got changed. I'm pretty sure it was in 1.8. So now that they're no longer pets, rabbit farms should actually be pretty straightforward. And it'll be fun to mess around with them and come up with something new. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Over here we've got sugarcane. Do you know what? There's a large variety of ways you can harvest these. If you've got any ideas, of course, share them. But there's a whole bunch of unique designs out there that I've never done before. So I've got plenty of ideas for that one. And then last of all, we have pig, and that's pretty much the same as the cow. You know, I can't really think of too many new ways of doing things with uh, this animal. We've done plenty of farms with them before, uh, but I'm sure we'll think of something unique. So any ideas that you have, share them down below. That is the fourth floor. Let me know what you think of it. I really like it, actually. It's cool. I think it could have done with a little bit more depth in the ceiling, but I can't complain. This looks pretty good, and I think this is a good place to wrap it up. So as always, if you enjoyed yourself this video, leave a like down below. The support is appreciated. As always, thank you so much um, for supporting these videos, whether you like them or you just come along and watch. It's uh, awesome to do this. I love it. It's great. <laughs> so thank you once again. Anyway, that's it. I'm rambling. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.